What's up guys, Flying Cow here, and welcome to part one of how to build this gigantic modern mansion that you can see right here. Let's not waste any time here, and let's just go ahead and get right into the build. Alright, so I think what we're going to do here first is just take our gray concrete and place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. They're going to take our white concrete. Let's actually get rid of this smooth quartz just because it looks so similar. And then we're going to place down two away from the outside and then bring that all the way down. Let's go ahead and have it go all the way down to here. And let's just add two more right there. So it's going to be 18 long and let's just bring this down all the way as well and then we're going to fill in this square right here so that's what we're going to have so far and then off of each of these corners right here we're going to build up by two and it's going to be five tall so there we go that's five tall Let's add four right there and then we're going to bring this all the way down to the end. I'm just going to bring down these two layers right here. And then we're going to do the same thing right here. So now we just have to build up by four on each side and then fill it in like that. So now we've got a little window right there. We're just going to go ahead and fill that all the way in with black stained glass panes. Alright, and now that we have that part complete, this is just a small little window. This is going to be a small window for the house. For other normal size houses, this would be a big window though. So, now let's go over here, and I think we will just build up like so. Actually, let's just build up by two right there. We're just going to bring that down all the way. We're going to have to count how many blocks this is afterwards. And we're going to have it turn right there. So that is, let's go down over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 blocks. And then we're going to bring it down by 2 right there. Let's actually bring it down by 3. And then this right here is actually going to extend out farther than this window right here. So let's have it extend out by 4 blocks extra. And then we're just going to... Let's go ahead and bring that all the way down and then fill in those two extra layers right there. Alright, now that we have that part complete, let's go over here and place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 blocks right there. Let's actually change my mind let's break those out so this is three off now let's, let's go one two three four five six blocks and then we're going to bring this down by ten so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten let's just make sure I counted that correctly one two three four five six seven eight nine ten get out of here you horse and now we're going to bring this out by four so let's just add that first layer right there. So one, two, three, two, three. And then we're going to add three onto this layer here as well. So I've got a small plan in my head. Most of this build is going to be freestyle. Actually, all of it is going to be freestyle because of how big the build is going to end up being. I haven't actually seen the final result yet, uh, just because, you know, I'm... I've just now started building it, but this is going to be a very, very large house. So I plan on making it just all freestyle, you know, so this all is just going to be coming straight from my brain. Let's go over here. Actually, that's five blocks right there. Let's build four right there as well. And we're just going to copy this down all the way. <clears throat> until it reaches the end right there. So I built a little too far. Then we're gonna bring this down all the way. Try to go kind of fast, but not too fast here. 
Let's copy that down. And then we'll put down some more right there. So it's going to look like this now. And this is all going to just be a big old quarter window, corner window. So let's go ahead and fill all of this in right here. Make sure to put the glass one in from the outside right there. Alright, now that that part there is filled in, that's what it's going to look like so far, and as you can see, it's already starting to get kind of a little bland, I think, so let's put in some diversity here. I just built up by six, and then I'm bringing it all the way down by two layers. Let's put those down right there, and oh, would you look at that, it actually, okay, so it lines up right there, I actually only built up by five. Um, right here, though, I think we will have a little balcony. But first, let's put down this right here. Just some jungle planks right there. And then we'll fill in that right there. So it's going to be a little balcony just like so. And, you know, let's try to put down some leaves. We'll see if that works. We'll see if it fits. We might break that out and change it up a little bit later. But for now, we're going to leave it how it is. But now let's just go along over here. And we're going to place down a layer of black terracotta and we're just going to have it extend out by a little bit I don't know how many blocks that was we're gonna have to count it and line it up later sometimes I'm not gonna count sometimes I will this is just one of those cases where I'm not going to count um, but then over here there's a little bit of glitch there don't mind that over here we're just going to take this and fill it all the way in with white concrete right here this is going to be what a majority of the floor in the house is going to be it's just going to be white concrete so it's going to look a very similar the design is going to look very similar to the outside of the house All right, and now that we've got that floor filled in right there, let's go along over here and we're just going to place a very large window right here. So it's just going to go up to where this is and then it's going to go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks higher from this level right here. And we're going to do that four times along these four blocks right here. Alright, now that we've got that big old line right there, we can go down here, let's actually break these two blocks out, and then let's go, let's actually take out our dead bubble coral. We're going to place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight layers down right there. Let's actually make it nine, just because, and we're going to leave those there. Then we're going to go right here off of this block, the third block up, we're just going to bring those down by nine blocks as well and then off of these four blocks right here we will build up to that height right there I don't know what the height actually is but we're just gonna build it all the way up until it lines up which I actually just did there perfectly it's kind of like flipping to the exact page in a like a science textbook back in high school it's kind of the feeling that I get now so let's just build up this last one right here and then, of course, as you may have guessed, we are going to connect those at the top right there. So let's go ahead and do that. This will be really quick. And then this is going to be a giant window, as I said earlier. So we, of course, need to fill all this in, which I'm actually going to cut out because you probably don't want to see me fill in this window here for five minutes straight. So let's just fill in this window right here, and this is black stained glass panes, by the way. Alright, and now that that window is complete, that took a little while to fill in there. Let's go back along over here. We're going to go back to that window there really quick, just to do a little something to prepare us for the interior. 
But anyways, right here, we're going to go off of this block and place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 blocks right there. And we're going to build it up by 5 and then carry it all the way down, just like so. And then once it reaches that end right there, we're going to build up right there. Then we can go ahead and just build this exact same layer all the way over again. So we're just going to double up this layer right here. And then we're going to go take a look at it and see what it looks like. I really misplaced a few blocks there, so let's go ahead and break those. Now let's take a look at this. Let's see if it's window worthy. I think that it is. I think we're going to just go ahead and fill in this window right here and we're going to place the black stained glass panes on the second layer in. Alright, and now that we got that part completely filled in, we're just going to take this line of black terracotta that we built before and we're going to bring it all the way down and connect it to right there. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we're going to build off of it by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 blocks. Then we'll bring that down to the ground. And now we're going to need to add a little more uh, life to this build and a little bit more wood. So I think we're going to take out our jungle planks again. Let's just go ahead and let's also take out our smooth quartz. And you know, you really could be using uh, white concrete throughout this whole build. But the reason we're taking out the smooth quartz now is because we might be using some smooth quartz slabs and there aren't any white concrete slabs. Otherwise, we would just be using uh, white concrete throughout the entire build. It looks like I accidentally uh, brought that down right there. So let's break out this part right here. And then just place it down one block inward. Now let's go over here. We're going to build up a layer of white concrete on both sides. Let's also build a layer, two layers actually, of jungle planks right there. It's just going to give a little stripe right there of some jungle planks. Then we're going to fill this all the way up to the top right there just like so. And let's also put in some jungle leaves right there. When I place those, it's actually really loud. I don't know if that's a little too loud so that you can't even hear my voice, but um, so we're just going to do that. And then right here, we're going to fill in the rest of this with black stained glass pane. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. There's no need for me to cut this part out right here since it's just a small little window. But there we go. Now that we have that, that's what it's going to look like. I think that looks fine. Let's actually put two layers of black terracotta right here and then down here we're going to take our light gray concrete and we'll put that down right there so that's what it's going to look like now I think that doesn't look too bad it's a little shadowy but let's go over here now we're just going to place an extra layer of white concrete so we're gonna have to take that back out now just bring that all the way down think that looks fine yeah I think it looks good so now what we're going to do we need to add a little bit more um, texture to this build so we're just going to go back over here and we're going to build a room that extends outward and I think this is going to be a very large corner room so what we're going to need to do for that is off of this block right here we will take out our gray concrete and place on one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 blocks right there. And then we will build 23 blocks off of this one. Okay, so now that we've got that part complete, let's go ahead and just double up this layer right here. We're just going to add another layer of gray concrete over all of that 
Then once we've got that down, let me just film these blocks right here. We're going to take out our white concrete again and build out by, so one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. I think that would be fine. Let's actually make it seven just because. So now let's go over here, do the exact same thing. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I will, we'll build in those corners right there. Once that's connected right there, let's go over here. Just bring that all the way back down and then connect it right there. So now we've got some filling in here to do. I'm going to fast forward this part, but we're basically, let me just outline this part right here so that you know what to fill in. All right, so now this L shape right here, we're going to fill all the way in with white concrete. Now that we've got that part filled in, you can see we've got our first bat here. Let's actually go down there and light that up a little bit, just because I hate bats so much. We're just going to place down some lanterns here, and you can go ahead and just place them on the grass. Nobody's going to end up seeing them because this is going to be covered, so it's just going to be like this. So no one's really going to notice those lanterns down there. But anyways, enough about that. Let's go over here and place down one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight blocks right there we're just going to do that four times and we're going to go ahead and do that on this other side right here as well so it's just going to be four layers of eight blocks tall And now what we're going to do is, since we have one, two, three, four blocks out right here, we're going to build this out by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks. So it's going to extend out by three. Let's go ahead and go do that on this other side as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there we go. It extends out by three. Now let's go ahead and bring those all the way down. And we're not going to fill this in quite yet. But what we are going to do is we're going to go from this block right there, we're going to build up another layer. And then from this block right there, we're going to build up another layer. And then let's go ahead and build that down by four. Actually, let's build it down by, yeah, let's build it down, mm, having trouble making up my mind. Uh, yeah, I think we could build it down by five. So we're just going to bring that down all the way to the end. Do the same over here. One, two, three, four, five. Bring that down all the way till the end. And now we've got a giant window here that we are need, going to need to fill in. And so what we're going to do for that is we're just going to build all the way down from that block inward. Let's actually, let's actually fill this part in right there. Didn't really need to add kind of makes this layer here useless, but you know, since it's a free build, there's going to be a few small mistakes like that. So we're just going to build one, two, three, four, all the way down, and then we'll fill it all the way in right there. Let's bring that down. This is just an outline that I'm building. Don't worry, I'm not going to make you watch me build the entire thing. And now we should be good to fill in this entire window here. This is going to be a corner window, but now we're good to fill it all the way in with black stained glass panes.
now that we've got that part complete, what we're going to do here is we're going to actually fill in this part right here with some redstone lamps. And then we're going to put down some redstone blocks right alongside that. So let's go ahead and do that here. Oops. And then we're going to cover up all that redstone with spruce trap doors. Alright, and now this window is not yet complete. What I plan to do actually is build a little pond right here, a little corner pond, but that's going to take a very long time, so I'm not going to do it right now. But I'm going to build a little pond here, and then we're going to have some bamboo that goes up alongside the window so that it doesn't look like a big old plain window like it does right now, because right now it doesn't actually look that good, as you can see, but it's going to come together nicely in the future. So now let's travel back over here. Uh, it's actually kind of taking a long time, so I'm going to get out my firework right there so that I can travel a little, a little faster. And now over here what we're going to do is we're just going to build out by three layers of white concrete right there. And then we can go ahead and build this all the way up to the top right there. And then bring it all the way down and over. So let's go ahead and do that now. This is just to uh, remind us later on when we are building the interior of this house that we don't want this uh, gray concrete showing on the inside. So now let's go back over here and now I can use my elytra wings that I have. So now what we're going to do over here is we're going to fill in this portion of the wall right here. So to do that, let's just take our black terracotta and off of this block we'll build one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine blocks right there let's actually go over here and see how many blocks this one was and make the same height so that's three away from the top let's go over here and go three away from the top as well and now from this side one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen six sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four okay so that's twenty four this house is getting quite large so that's 24 blocks right there we're gonna go with the white concrete right here again and go up actually we could use the quartz let's actually use the quartz so this is smooth quartz one two three four five six seven blocks right there let's do the same thing actually change my mind again change my mind a lot here guys so sorry about that I'll try to stop so we're gonna go seven for two layers right there a layer of gray concrete for however many blocks that was we're gonna find out later we're gonna go two jungle planks here again two layers of seven so once we've got that part down I'm gonna go back over here and we're going to create a window which is going to end up being let's just make it all the way down so it's four long and uh, I think that's six tall so now let's go ahead and fill in that window here with black stained glass panes I don't need to cut this part out since it's just gonna be a short window again so let's go ahead and try to fill it in kind of quickly here I'm very bad at placing windows if you haven't already picked up on that but now what we're gonna do we're gonna take out a black terracotta again we're just gonna double up this layer right here we're gonna have it go all the way down and connect to right there we could go ahead and actually no we're gonna get rid of that layer but we're going to add another layer on that side and now we're going to take out our jungle leaves let's just place down two layers actually right here I think two layers would be better than just one let's actually go over here as well we're going to place down two layers there too and I think another good thing to do would to be to get out our jungle slabs. We're going to place down two right there, two right there. We'll also get out our lanterns and place down some lanterns right there. So it's going to look like that. And let's go ahead and do this on this side here as well, just because it's so dark. And, you know, we don't want this house to be too dark. So 
let's put those lanterns down just like that so i think that looks good right there this right here i'm thinking could be a doorway let's add six blocks onto this one two three four five six that's black terracotta by the way and then we're just going to double up that layer there and now right here i think what we're going to do we're going to take out our white concrete let's go off of this block right here drop all the way down so it's going to be right there just going to build all the way up to it and then we're going to break out these two blocks right there and then this is going to go out by one two three four um actually you know what let's have it go out by only three so that's what it's going to look like so far now over here we're going to create a little doorway let's take out our jungle fence or jungle why did i say jungle smooth quartz we're going to take out our smooth quartz again just going to build up a layer right there we'll bring it all the way down until it meets right there let's add another layer here of white concrete here's the difference between the white concrete and the smooth quartz by the way it's a little wider with the smooth quartz so let's just build up a layer right there as well and then right here we've got a small problem but it's really not too big of a problem we're going to take out our dead bubble coral block this is the first time using it in this build just going to build one two three four five six seven eight nine blocks right there then one two three four five six seven eight nine it doesn't really matter gap of three right there but it doesn't really matter let's actually make it a gap of four um just cut myself off there twice it doesn't really matter where that gap is going to be it could be wherever you want it to be um because all it all it is it's it's not really important at all it's just going to be a little ramp it's like the opening we're going to put down a layer of um, black stained glass panes all the way around right there because this is going to be a little balcony and this is the railing for the balcony and then once we've got this railing put down here we're going to take out our jungle planks and we're going to build a line right there and then this square right here or this rectangle can be filled in all the way with jungle planks okay and now that we've got that completely filled in what we're going to do next is we're going to go over here let's actually so this is our smooth quartz we're going to build another layer of smooth quartz right there then we're going to take out our jungle leaves we're going to build a layer right there this layer i think is going to be only one block it's not going to be two like this one is right here but then we're actually going to take out our striped stripped uh spruce logs and then from this block we will build one block right there this is just a test to see if it'll line up then two blocks away so we're just going to see if this is going to line up evenly um doesn't really add up that evenly but i think it's fine um so off of those we'll build one two three four five six blocks out so let's go ahead and do that for all of them Alright, and now what we're going to do is we're actually going to take out our spruce slabs and then we will just go every other block and it's going to be on the lower half of the block. We're just going to bring it down and we're going to create this pattern right here. And it's going to extend out by one block. So let's go ahead and do that two more times. Alright, and now that we've got that part complete, let's go over here and on this block right here we'll place down one spruce plank. We're going to go ahead and do that on these two, and then we will do the same thing on these two as well. Let's actually, let's actually have it just on these three. 
But then what we're going to do is we're going to place down some stripped spruce, uh, or what is this, stripped spruce logs. We're going to place down three of them below each of those. So we've got some pillars there. And then of course we need to put down some lanterns here. So we can just put down some lanterns all the way along here. And then we can go ahead and do it on these ones as well. And then we are complete. So now we've got a little entrance right there. I think it looks pretty nice. It's a nice change of uh, scenery from what the rest of the mansion is looking like so far. So now let's just go over here because we need to build a garage. But before we build that garage, we need to build another room. This mansion is looking like it's going to be extremely large. So I can't wait until this project is done. It's going to be super exciting for me to post this video because I think it's going to look really great. So what I did, uh, so what I did just there is just add another two layers of white concrete. And now what we're going to do here is build off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this is not going to be an extremely large window. As you can, as you can see, I'm starting to slow down here a little bit. I'm starting to get kind of tired. I've been building for almost an hour here straight. So I'm going to be taking a break soon, but let's just double up this layer here. And also, by the way, the reason I said that was because I advise all of you to take a break whenever you need to. You know, you don't want to burn yourself out, especially with a build this big. You're never going to get it done. And it's also just not entirely extremely healthy for you to be doing something nonstop for like hours and hours and hours on end and going full force. But we're just going to build that little pattern right there. Let's go ahead and fill this in with black stained glass panes. And now that we've got that part filled in all the way, we're going to go down below. And off of this block, we will, we will just place down a layer of gray concrete. And if you didn't catch the block, it's just one block away from the edge of this right here. So we're just going to bring that all the way down. And it looks like this glass is actually going to connect with the gray concrete. Which is fine because it's kind of out of sight. So, you know, out of sight, out of mind. Um, and now we've got that little window complete there. So now what we need to do is we need to add a garage. And this house, oh my gosh, this house is going to be massive. Um, but we need to add a garage. So we're going to do that right here on the edge. Let's at least start here with the garage. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our gray concrete, we're going to build out by four blocks, and then from this we will build up all the way to the top of this window right here. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't know how many blocks that is. But then what we will do, that might be, that might even be a little bit too tall. Um, but anyways, now what we're going to do is we're going to take out our light gray concrete, we're going to build up by one, two, three, four, five, six, I think. And then we're going to take our white concrete and build up by one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three. Actually, let's have it be five. So five, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that would be fine. Let's have it be eight, actually. We'll bring it down all the way. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right there. Okay, so that looks fine. And then we're going to take our light gray concrete again, bring it all the way down over here. And then we're going to do that again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, we don't need to count right there. We only, we only need to count for this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's bring it all the way down. And then we will take this. Bring it all the way down to right there. And so this garage obviously is not complete quite yet. Let's go ahead and build this up another layer. And then build that up. Now let's build another garage that faces that way. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, or five, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it all the way down and then this is where the garage is going to cut off so it appears from the outside to be 
a six car garage, but it's actually going to be much deeper. It's probably going to be like a 50 car garage, I'd guess. Um, but now what we're going to do, let's go over here and off of this block. I'm just going to bring that down all the way until it meets the corner. Jesus, this is a long garage. Alright, so it's met the corner right there. This is one block outward. So now we're just going to bring that down all the way till it meets the end of the garage. And then once it meets the end, we can go ahead and build this all the way up. And let's only do that for two blocks right there. Then we'll add those two right there. And now I think what we're going to do... Let's actually add another two layers right here. And then what I'm planning on doing right here is putting down some glass in between these two layers. So let's put down these two layers. This is gray concrete, by the way, in case you were getting a little lost or confused there. Now we're going to take our... What did I just do to that? Did it fall out of my hand? No, I guess I just completely deleted it. Um, but now we're going to take our black stained glass panes. We're going to go up here and we're going to fill in that little window right there. We're going to fill it in from the first block outward. And you know, I'm thinking that this part of the build is getting a little too corporate looking. So what we're going to do next is we're going to add some leaves. But before we add the leaves, we should probably, let's actually fill this all in with jungle planks because I think that would look good. I think that'd bring a little bit more life into the build because as giant as this house is going to be, you can't really make it look like a house that you would actually want to live in. It's just a house that's cool to look at. You know, this is way too big of a house for anybody to ever have, in my opinion. But uh, that doesn't mean that we want to make it look like a look like one of those one of those corporate looking houses if you know what I mean where it's like all all work and no play so now let's just fill in two layers of leaves all the way around here Alright, and now that that is done, we should probably add some lighting to this garage as well. So, I think what we're going to do, let's go over here. Let's actually just add some jungle planks right there. This is not going to be part of the lighting process, but I think it just looks a little nicer with some jungle planks right there. Um, and then right here off of this block, which I think is like the third one up, we're going to place down a jungle slab off of each of the grays right there. Let's actually do it off of the inside so that it doesn't stick out an extra block for no reason. And then we're going to, of course, put down some lanterns off of each of those. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fill in the garage doors, which I almost forgot about doing. So for this, we're just using our pillar blocks and placing them sideways so that it uh, looks like a garage door So let's go ahead and do that um, For this one and then I'm gonna cut out me placing them down for the other two garage doors because it's literally going to be the exact same thing And this video is going to be long enough. So once we have that down We're just going to put down two little buttons right there So it looks like handles and now let's go ahead and fill in these two other garage doors right here
All right, and now that we've got that garage complete there, we're going to go over here on the side of it, and let's just place down two layers of white concrete right here. And up here, it's obviously going to need to turn into some jungle planks right there. And then right here, let's also, let's just bring this down with our gray concrete, and we're going to end this window right there. So we could even have it turn all the way. So we'll just break up those two blocks and then have it turn and end right there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to continue this down by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 blocks. And then we can go ahead and bring this all the way down until it touches the ground. And since this end over here goes up two blocks wide, let's go ahead and just do the same thing over here. So we're just going to add another layer right there. And we can also go ahead and add this little window piece right there. So it's going to be three glass panes, one, two, three. And then we will add the window on top of all that. And of course it is going to turn. So we're just going to continue it down for right there. And we will come back to that later. So right here, what we're going to do, I think we can just add a window right here to fill all of that in. And we can fill that part in. So now it's going to look like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take out our uh, white concrete again. And let's go ahead and just build a layer on the inside, just like so. And right here, we are going to be doing the same thing just to keep the uh, consistency in this build. We're going to keep that part uh, the same. So it's just going to look like this now. And now we've got a window to fill in here, or an entire wall, I should say. Um, but I think that we're going to fill this wall in here with a window. So let's go ahead and build up two layers right here. We could actually, um, actually, no, we're going to, well, let's see. Yeah, let's keep it at two. And then we can go on in here and then build in another layer. And then we're going to build up all the way around like so. And then we can fill all of this in here with our glass, our black stained glass panes to be more specifically. Alright, now that we have that part complete, let's go back down over here and let's just fill this layer in here with white concrete and we're going to see how it turns out. Um, you know, I don't think that actually looks that bad. So now we're just going to fill in this layer right here with oak leaves. And once we've got that part down, let's go over here. We're going to fill in this layer with gray concrete. And then I think that little section is done. Let's actually, let's, uh, let's go ahead and place down some lanterns off of each of these slabs that we just placed down right there. I think that looks good. So now that side of the garage is complete. Let's actually turn our render distance up because this house is so large that, you know, and even though we've just started building it, it's already so large that we got to turn the render distance up in order to get all of it inside of the screen. So as you can see, what we've got here is a big L shaped house. And since there is so much open space here at the front of it, I don't want that. Um, I don't, I don't want to have to look at the house and have to be looking at all this grass here. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. Gosh, it takes so long to fly. Should have used the rocket, but we're going to come over here and we're going to build a little pathway that leads there. And then there's going to be a big old square right there that isn't going to be too tall, but let's see how this turns out. Let's see if we can make this work. So this obviously is going to need to go. So let's go ahead and just break that out. And then right under here, off of this block, which is one inward from the jungle planks. And then on that block right there, actually maybe it should be, yeah, let's actually just, uh, let's just keep it like that. Because that might be a little too skinny. Is that too skinny? I don't know. Let me turn the render distance back down so that we can build without it being glitchy because my computer's so bad. So let's just build that down 
like so. And this might be confusing as to why we're doing this right now, but it will not be later on. So let's just build down to here. And then from this block, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's do that again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now let's zoom out a bit just to see how it looks so far. I think we could do another eight more, so let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then let's go ahead and just go down here and bring this one all the way down. All right, so now that we've got that part down, what we're gonna do is off of this block right here, we will build one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So once we've got those 10 blocks down, we're going to come on over here and build down 30 more blocks. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then once we've got those 10, those 30 blocks down on either side, We've got quite a large area right here now. Now we're just going to go over here and build. Let's build all the way down. Let's just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that was 20, so 35 blocks down. And I think that's where we're going to stop right there. And then we're just going to bring this all the way down to the very end of that block. And then we're just going to connect it. So it's going to make one giant rectangle. Alright, so now that that is done, it should look something like this once we're zoomed out here. I had to go back into 16 um, render distance, 16 chunks. So now let's just back it back down to 6. So we've got this giant square. I don't know what we're going to do with it yet. There might be a giant fountain in here. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but I just wanted to put that there as a little benchmark and we're going to come back to it later. So. Now let's go over here. Oops, I need to... So let's just fly over here. That's a lot faster using those. But now I think we're going to build one small room onto the end of this. And to do that, I think we're going to have a similar pattern to what the garage wall looked like. So right here, let's just build up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 blocks right there. And let's go over by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 blocks. Let's go ahead and build this up by two layers right there. Then let's do the same thing over here. I'm just going to build it up so that it lines up with those blocks. And right here, I think let's actually take out our jungle planks. And we're going to have the top of these two layers be jungle planks just like so and then we can go over here let's build a layer just like that let's uh, bring it down from right there so one block up and then we're going to do that again so it's going to go in by three blocks I think that's what it looked like from that outside wall from the garage. I don't know, let's go back over there and check it out. Okay, so it looked like that. Yeah, that looks the same. Um, it's okay if it's a little different, because I'm not trying to copy it down exactly. But then, 
uh, obviously we're going to fill in this window right here <clears throat> and then once we've got that part down let's go ahead and fill this in put down some oak leaves right here and then we're going to cover this all up with gray terracotta and let's have it let's go ahead and have it go down by two layers right here <clears throat> and then right here let's go ahead and add a similar well actually not similar an identical window just like we had on the other garage so it's going to look just like this we're just going to build up a block and then fill it in with glass my voice is getting kind of sore here so excuse my lack of enthusiasm i'm not actually uh you know bored i'm just trying to like save my voice a little bit so let's put down some lanterns right there so yeah if i'm if I'm not uh, talking during the build as much, then that's why. It's just because I have a sore throat from all the talking that I've been doing. Um, so yeah, I think that looks good. Let's actually go back out into a higher chunk measurement and we'll see how that looks like. I think it looks good. So yeah, this this is going to be something, this big old square right here what, uh, is what I'm talking about. But yeah, I think this looks cool. Um, and and it's, it's barely even begun. So <clears throat> now let's go back to our regular chunks. And we're going to start building onto this section over here. And what we're going to do for that is we're going to take out our white concrete again let's just build actually let's take out our gray concrete and off of that line right there we're going to build all the way down to right here then we will bring that all the way down until it meets this edge right here and then we will take our white concrete and off of this edge we're going to build it out by three so it's going to extend out by one block and let's go ahead and have it extend out by one block extra on this edge as well. So let's just go ahead and build in these three layers right here. And once we have those layers filled in there, we're going to make this one these four blocks here go up by five. I think that was five right there. Yes, it was. And then we're just going to bring those two layers down all the way till the end, till it meets this gray concrete right here. In which case, we're going to put down two layers right there, like so, and then fill in that layer right there. And then we'll fill in that layer right there. And this is going to be the window. So actually, I think we can get rid of those two and that one so now it'll look just like that and maybe we could even get rid of those there we go i think that i, th I don't think that would look bad i think that looks good so let's have it be like that so now we're just going to fill in this window here Alright, and now that that window there is filled in, let's go over here to the side and let's actually have this window not be a floor to ceiling window. And instead, we'll have it cut off right there. So we're just going to build up by those two blocks. We'll bring this all the way down and then we will bring these two layers all the way down as well to right there. And now this one's going to go down right there. So this is what we're going to have now. Then we can go ahead and fill in this window here. And now that we've got that part down, we're going to just fill in a little section right here. So we're going to build, we're going to take out our gray concrete again. 
We're going to go one block down. Let's actually go ahead and just connect that right there. And then we can also, while we're at it, just fill in this corner right here since it was going to be filled in either way. So now we've got this and we're going to bring this gray concrete all the way down to two blocks away from right there. This one is not going to extend out, or maybe it will, maybe it should. Let's have it extend out by one block actually from, or no, we're not going to have it extend out at all. Um, it's just going to extend out by two from the gray concrete, but it's not going to extend out any further than this wall here below it does. So it's going to look like that now. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to bring this all the way down to right there. And now we're going to fill in another window right here. This is going to be one of those caved in windows. It's not one of the floor to ceiling windows. There's a couple different styles of windows that I'm probably going to be referring to in this build. And caved in is one that looks like this. And then floor to ceiling is one that's obviously like this. And it's got these borders here on the sides as well. Now for this one, let's change it up just a little bit by placing down some jungle slabs on the top and bottom right there. We could even do that for this side here as well. Let's go ahead and do that and see how it turns out. I think it turns out fine. Um, and now over here, I was planning on doing something, a, well, I guess not really planning that much, but ever since I built this window, I was kind of thinking in my head, um, a good idea to build something here would be to actually take out so we're going to take out our gray concrete we're going to place down a layer all the way around right here it's going to be two layers out so let's go ahead and do that until it reaches this corner right here then we're going to take out our smooth quartz slabs we're going to place down a layer all the way outside from that and then we're going to take out our uh, jungle planks and we will place down a layer over all that and Now let's see what we've got here and then we're going to take out our oak leaves and we're going to place down a layer Over all that except this time it's going to extend out by one And that is where we are going to end part one of this tutorial. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope that you all enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.